Over the last few months of this year, aircraft of the Russian Occupation Army have dropped almost 130 high-explosive bombs on Russian territory and occupied Ukrainian lands. According to Astra, one of them was discovered in the Belgorod region on September the 23rd. In the Grivoronsky urban district, a few kilometers from the village of Dobroy Vanovka, a Fab 250 was discovered. There were no casualties or damage, the munition has already been destroyed. This is at least the 127th aerial bomb dropped by the Russian Aerospace Forces on Russia and the occupied territories of Ukraine from March to September of this year. The resource writes, It is noted that earlier the Russian army began to equip Soviet high-explosive aerial bombs with UMPK complexes, universal planning and correction modules. After this upgrade, wings and satellite guidance appear on the FABs, allowing them to be launched directly from the territory of the Russian Federation. The exact reasons for the unplanned descent of the bombs are still unknown, but it has existed since the beginning of the use of UMPK, which turns their freefall into gliding. It is known that the occupiers are launching at Ukraine, including the winged FAB-3000. The numbers in the name indicate the total weight of the product in the FAB-3000, about half the weight is explosives. The Russian army began actively using the UMPK in the spring of this year, and the problem of the updated FAB was immediately revealed. Often, the bombs simply do not reach Ukraine. Most often, the FAB-250 and the FAB-500 fall. Usually, in the event of an abnormal collision, they do not explode. The bombs are destroyed after the fact by explosive ordnance experts. The publication says, In early July, a FAB-3000 fell from a Russian plane onto the Belgorod region for the first time. The bomb exploded in a field near the village of Shebekino. Since the area was deserted, there were no casualties. On May the 4th, a Russian plane dropped a FAB-500 on Belgorod, as a result of which seven people were injured, 31 houses and 10 cars were damaged. The authorities concealed the reason for the bomb's fall, as well as the fact that it was Russian. Astra emphasizes, Let us recall that Russian occupation forces quite often lose bombs over their own cities. For example, on the evening of June the 13th, 2024, a powerful explosion thundered in Shebekino, Belgorod region. It was reported that a Russian aerial bomb fell on the city. Local telegram channels asked residents of Titovka, a suburb of Shebekino, to refrain from walking until the morning. In Shebekino itself, the blast wave tore out window frames and smashed glass. A Turkish plane carrying 30 tons of medical aid arrived at Beirut's airport on Wednesday after Israel's massive bombardment of several areas throughout Lebanon that killed at least 560 people and sent thousands fleeing from southern Lebanon. Lebanese caretaker health minister Faras Abayad was at the airport to receive the Turkish aid. He said it was a message of solidarity from Turkey to the Lebanese nation, in the face of the brutal aggression it is enduring. A wave of Israeli strikes on Monday and Tuesday killed at least 560 people, including 50 children and 94 women, and wounded more than 1,800, the Lebanese health ministry said. It was a staggering toll for a country still reeling from the deadly pager and walkie-talkie bombings last week. The airstrikes forces thousands to seek shelter. Fleeing families have flocked to Beirut and the coastal city of Sidon, sleeping in schools turned into shelters, as well as in cars, parks and along the beach. Some sought to leave the country, causing a traffic jam at the border with Syria.
اليوم بمطار عم نستقبل طائرة عسكرية جاية للبنان مساعدة من تركيا ومن الشعب التركي لتوجه رسالة كتير مهمة للشعب اللبناني الرسالة الأولى هي رسالة تضامن هي رسالة بتقول للشعب اللبناني أنت لست وحيدا نحن واقفين معك نحن بكل الدعم لصمود هذا الشعب بوجه الاعتداء الغاشم اللي عم يتعرض له اللي سقط من جراءه الاعداد الكبيره من الشهداء ومن ومن الجرحى